Welcome to Juniper Educational Services Learning Bytes. This Learning Byte will be on the Junos Web App Secure Appliance, formerly known as Mykonos. This will be Configuration Basics. Section Objectives. After successfully completing this Learning Byte, you will be able to log into a factory defaulted Junos Web App Secure Appliance, navigate the Text Mode Setup Utility, configure basic server options such as the network interface and system name, start the web interface for configuration and security monitoring. After starting up the Juno's Web App Secure Appliance, you'll be prompted for login information. The default login on the defaulted box is Mykonos in lowercase with the password of Mykonos Admin. This is the text mode setup utility for the Junos Web App Secure appliance. This interface will allow you to configure the server itself. For navigation between the elements, you can use Tab or Alt Tab. Within the individual elements, you may also use the arrow keys to move down. For example, let's go to Auto Updates. When we do this, I can use the space bar to select or deselect to enable an option. I can then use my tab key to go to the next element. I press enter to select. The Juno's Web App Secure Setup Utility has the following options. Authentication configuration. This option allows for us to configure for either local or to LDAP to authenticate administrative users. In the next Juniper rebranded version due out around Q2 2013, there will also be support for external radius authentication. Normally, local authentication is sufficient in most deployments. Automatic updates. This option can be enabled so the Juno's Web App Secure Appliance does a daily check for any system updates. The backups option will allow us either to perform a manual backup at any time or to restore from a previous backup. Initializing the appliance, this option will allow you to set the box back to factory default. Please be careful when choosing this option because it will delete your installed licenses. Logging. This option will allow you to save your system logs either locally or to a remote syslog server. The default is for local logging. The network configuration is where you're going to set up the box initially. To set up the host name, we put in Juno's Web App Secure 1 as the name of our appliance. From here, you click Update to update the information once you've typed in your host name. Exit out here. Now go to Configure Interfaces. Underneath Configure Interface, you'll see that ETH1 is the one that we need to set up. We have two options. We can use DHCP or we can set up a static IP address. On either option, you will make sure that you've enabled on boot. This will then engage those options when the appliance gets rebooted for the networking part of it. So exiting from here, you will see that there are some other places to go and to configure. We could also go configure a virtual interface, um, add a VLAN interface, add bonded interfaces. Our DNS settings, when we do the restart networking, if we've set up the DHCP option, will auto-fill. Otherwise, you have to come in and put in manually the DNS server um, IP address. From here, proxy settings are the other um, one 
We've set it for the local proxy for HTTP and H HTTPS so that we can use the built-in HTTP server that we've got um, for our demo. Other options, if we're setting up cluster, we can enable the cl cluster interface. After you're done, you want to restart networking. Restarting the appliance, this allows us to be able to either reboot or power off the appliance. When dealing with support issues related to the Junos Web App Secure Appliance, one of your major options for the tech support to use is going to be the Send Support Bundle option here. With the Send Support Bundle option here, it will take the syslog information, your system configuration, and bundle that together. Depending on what the issue is, JTAC may also request that you use the Send Database option with it. Services option allows us to check the status of the services running on the appliance. We see that all of our services are running, so the status is okay for our appliance. We also have the ability to start our services or to stop our services. After we finish configuring our network interfaces, setting our system name, we also want to restart networking, which we mentioned earlier. From here, we can go ahead and exit out the setup utility, and this will take us to our Unix shell, and then we can verify that the interface has indeed taken our configuration changes by typing in ifconfig. As we can see here for ETH1, we've been assigned an IP address of 192.168.145.128. I will use this IP address in my browser with a colon 5000 to get to the other management interfaces. To get back into this text setup utility, you just type in sudo setup at the Unix command shell. When quitting, you want to quit all the way out, so we'll go to quit, and then from the Unix command shell, we'll type exit. The next step is go to our other web-based interfaces. These use the assigned IP address. Since we're using DHCP, it is the 192.168.145.128 address with port 5000. If you set up for static IP address, that would be that address with port 5000 using HTTPS. If you had any certificate um, error warnings or anything like that, then you want to make sure that you set up for an exception in your browser. We have two different interfaces. We have the configuration interface, which allows us to set up for what services we're going to protect. And then once we've set that up, we would go and we would have the security monitoring interface, also known as the dashboard. In the Juniper rebranded release due out in Q2 of 2012, we're expecting these two to be merged together into a single interface and also the user interface not only be rebranded but also to be streamlined with a couple of additional features. The NTP server option allows you to set up to synchronize the appliance with one or more TCP servers by putting in a single IP address. If you have multiple, then you can separate with a colon. This concludes the Learn Byte on Juno's Web App Secure. Juniper Learning Bytes. View more at www.juniper.net slash learningbytes. They're free, concise lessons on specific subjects, relevant for all skill levels, taught by training experts, and available whenever and wherever you're ready to learn. Juniper Learning Bytes. Expand your knowledge bit by bit.